As a final step in that demo, we're going to be adding so tab gesture recognizer to the cell in order to allow to trigger the, the custom animation. So we're going to go to where we configured the cell. So this is where we're going to be adding this gesture recognizer. So we're going to be using this function, add gesture recognizer, and that's going to be of type UI tab gesture recognizer. And we're going to assign self as a target and for the selector, so the action that's going to be did tab cell. So we're going to go find this function. Right here, we have this function did tab cell. So that's going to be the sender will be UI tab gesture recognizer that we've just added to the cell. Also, we have the strong, a strong reference to the selected image that we declare right here, which is of type UI image view. And basically, so we assign to this strong reference, so the view of the sender, in order to keep a reference to of the view that we tap on, which is going to be the cell. Then we're going to define the photo details, so that's going to be the present view controller in order to present the details to the new view controller. And then we're going to refer in the storyboard to the photo view controller. Here you see that we're using a photo view controller identifier in order to assign, so to create, so an instance of photo view controller. So if we go to main storyboard, we're going to be able to see, so we're going to select this one. Here you're going to see that if we go here, we have assigned a an identifier to the storyboard ID. So that's going to allow us to refer to that view controller specifically, and that is important. Once we've done that, we're going to assign to photo detail. So we have a property on that um, view controller, and we're going to see that later on. So we're going to assign to this photo property the image detail of the selected image in order to be able to display full screen for that selected image. We're going to also assign self to transitioning delegate of the photo details. So it's going to be able to rely on the transitioning specificity that we've been working on. So, you know, with the animator class. So this is what this is. And then we're going to use present view controller. As a parameter, we're going to use photo details. So the rest is pretty basic. Let's go check out photo view controller. So on the photo view controller, you're going to be able to see that we have this photo property and also the UI image view because we have this big UI image view that covers the screen. So that's going to allow to create the full screen presentation. And inside view did load, so we assign so this photo property to the image property of photo view. So we're going to be able to pass as photo details to photo. So let's go back to collection view controller just to see the different steps. So here, this is what, where things happens. We have the details of the image, which refer to assign to selected image that we keep. So we keep a reference to that. And then we assign the details to photo of photo details. Finally, we pass that to the photo view controller. And in turn, it's going to be assigned to the image property of the photo view. Then we're going to be able to display full screen, so the details of the photo view right here. And also we have this comment right here. So we have an ad gesture, another ad gesture recognizer that we're going to be using. So basically we want to be able to tap on the cell in order to display full screen and then tap again on that full, full screen picture in order to dismiss the view controller. So we're going to be seeing that next. So let's do a demo. And the last step of that demonstration, we're going to be working on how to dismiss the presented view controller. So I'm going to show you now what we've been doing so far. So we're going to click on that cell and here you go. So you can see that now we have full screen. So once we tap, so for now it's not effective, it doesn't work, there's no user interaction. We want to dismiss this full screen in order to go back to the initial screen.